Guardian along with, and I see I forgot something else. Uh, wait, there it is. The face on the key here. Okay. Uh, yeah, I forgot to hide the menu stuff on the V, uh, on VC face. So, a part of that was showing over everything, but not anymore, at least. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, now I'm, now I'm flustered and caught off my guard. And uh, yeah, welcome to Showcase Sunday, where we'll be trying four games for up to about half an hour each. Uh, to see if they're any good for streaming. And um, yeah, the first one that we're, yeah. the first one that we're starting off with is World of Goo. Which is made by the f of, I, I actually forget the the name of the developers of this, but I do know that they're a Dutch developer. And they're known for quirky games like this, like a Little Inferno and the Human Resource Machine, I believe it's called. And I don't actually know what they might have made more recently. I only knew of this one and Little Inferno. And for some reason, I thought Little Inferno was British. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it, this is made by a Dutch developer. Actually, we can check that right the hell now. Uh, let's see. World of Goo. Uh, ta -da -da -da. Made by independent developer 2D Boy. Okay, and 2D Boy. Uh, let's see. Uh, and 2D Boy slash Tomorrow Corp uh, Corporation. Okay. Uh, da -da -da -da, let's say. Where is this? Uh, I'm glancing through this, but I'm not seeing anything specifically. So I, I might be completely wrong then. Uh, but yeah, let's let's not waste any more time on that and actually give start actually start the timer and get started. Uh, Jay, name? No, uh, Risa. Oh. Hmm. I was a Risa thought Little Inferno was British due to well the humor. More of the aesthetic game it uh, I thought it was British, like a bit of a it may be possibly an accidental assumption. Okay, it, it could be that, it, it could of course be that I am wrong. Uh, it has been quite a long time since I've actually heard of this, but yeah. The thing about this game is, it's basically a construction game in that we have to basically, well, build structures out of these goo balls to get to these pipes. So, and yeah, then enough of these goo balls need to actually go through the pipe. So basically, it's a it's a sort of lemmings but with construction, and a certain amount of them need to get to the end for us to pass. Though there is also um, <laughs> there is also a an extra challenge in getting a certain amount. But yeah, moving on. Yeah, uh, you remember playing leveling as a kid? Well, most of my mother. And I guess you were using comparison, and lemmings did have some. You could turn some lemmings into like a rule block, and you could do some minor pieces, but this one is. I would call it a more advanced version of leveling's. Now, in certain ways, it is more advanced, in others, it not. There will be other types of goo balls that appear later, and also there's this here. From across a small divide, another mysterious pipe appears in the sky. Its opening looked warm and inviting. The Goobles seemed to wonder where it might lead. The sign painter. <laughs> so yeah, now we need to build a cross. Luckily, these Goobles here are stuck to the ground. So it is a lot easier to... But yeah, a lot safer to build, but as you can see, these structures do have mass, so we need to be a bit careful with not dumping everything into the, the abyss below. Uh, let's see, if we put one there, and then one here, there we go. And these are awake when we get near them, so now let's build a bit upwards. 
And... Okay. There we go. Probably not the best way to do that, but... Oh well, <laughs> I'm not a bridge builder. <laughs> I think it's even be a strong game for bridge builder to me. It's something out of slime. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hang low. I, I have played this game before, I will admit that, but I never managed to finish it. I got quite close and hello, are we all... Okay, no, it's just uh, that the colors have gone weird. <laughs> and Yeah, I don't recall this one. I, I have seen this on YouTube and such, and there were many times YouTube has got a bit stuck. Let's see. This cave looks like it's been undisturbed for thousands of years. Until now. When the pipe broke through the ceiling above, the sunlight must have blinded those rare albino goo balls. They didn't seem to notice when it started to, when it began to snow. Maybe they would wake up if they had something to jump onto. The sign painter. Yeah, the sign painter. Yeah, basically repeating a bit from the last in that you need to get close in order to awaken most sleeping goo balls and okay there we go that woke up most of them um we'll need to do one more to get to the others here okay now we can start building upwards it's there and then which construction like this, it is always a good idea to work in squares. Since those do or tend triangles. to be more stable. Yeah, well, squares and triangles in general. Okay. Hmm. You've got a question. Where does the... Where did the hell did that uh, pipe come from? And... Good question. One more. There we go. The pipe will always apply a lot of suction, so as long as you can reach it, even if it is by just one you know, little bit, it'll generally stabilize the entire structure. So yeah, you could just completely rush towards one that, and have something to have your entire structure tip over towards it. As long as it touches it, it should be okay. In general, not always. Ground shakes. And yeah, they are <laughs> they're classical weird design. Let's go shopping. Okay, we could see that on the "Quote unquote world map earlier. It's a, I believe it's just a playground. But for now, the flying machine level. Some balls are lighter. Okay. Let's see. Open the gates and fly, monkeys fly. Yeah, don't forget about me, okay? Sincerely, the sign painter. Uh, yeah, these these red these red goo balls are basically balloons. So, let's attach a few over there. Extra here. And then we have the remaining two. Need to bring it all the way around, because the gate is a physical object. There. And actually just stick it on the same point. And there we go. We can remove away. as well. And there we go. Oh dear. Unless you somehow miss the pipe there, that is well, a bit hard to fail this one, but it is a, it's a tutorial one. So of course it's going to be easy. Okay, splitting the path, we have Pisties, Bog, and Tumblr. Okay. Keep growing. Uh, 
Oh, okay. <laughs> so we are just in a tumbler. Uh, uh, oh, and there's the sign. Yeah. New species of goo ball. I must say they look quite beautiful. Maybe they have commitment anxiety. I'm not sure. But it looks like they can easily de uh, ta can be easily detached from one another. A helpful sign painter. Yeah, some of the goo balls you can detach, but others you cannot. I believe the the black ones are stuck forever. I think. So yeah, this is just going to keep moving us around. So we re all we really need to do is just get up high enough to the pipe. So yeah, uh, let's risk it on this side. Wait until we get tossed over again. And let's see. Is that saying something? I see an R, likely an O, a D. Product, maybe? Either way, continuing on. And now we tip over by <laughs> our own accord. Okay. Um, still a ways to go. Uh, if we work up this way... Actually, we might be able to get to it. If we stretch a bit, yeah, if, if we, we're going to hit it. There we go. If, oh, okay. So it can let go from the structure. I haven't had that happen often, but I, I certainly don't remember this mission. Um, I think I do either. It looks very annoying. <laughs> uh, it's get itself stuck. Like, Oh, no. Um, yeah, we, we we got enough through so we can just continue on. And, oh, I was going to say, for some reason the goo is still black even though we only have green ones. And yeah, this little counter, the little number here, that's basically all of the goo balls that we save get put into the... The World of Goo Corporation air level. And yeah, it's basically a sandbox. And hello. As you complete levels, the extra goo balls you collect are sent here. And nice to see them again. Though they seem to have lost their essence. This must be World of Goo Corporation's uh, sleek new campus 2.0. They say employees are given free cereal and they ride to meetings on scooters. World of Goo Corporation executives say this area is infinite in all directions. Strange, everyone just wants to build up. What's up with that anyway? See you real soon, the sign painter. So yeah, this is basically where you can well, build to your heart's content. Uh, yeah, we're here for this, not for the, pl the playground. So let's see. Ivy Tower, okay. Ah, yeah, this one. I remember this one. If a goo ball falls into a well 10 meters deep and climbs up 3 meters each day, but slides down you know, 2 meters at night, we do looks fabulous. <laughs> we still look fabulous in the morning. <laughs> Maybe if he were to brace against the walls as hard as he could, he could leave the ground behind. A friend, the sign painter. Uh, yeah, the whole goal of this mission is to just well, clamber up along the wall. So there, uh, we can just pick these up, let's just put them on the grid, so we have them in easier reach. Okay, one there, uh, I want to pull this one specifically, it, it's <laughs> apparently that's a very popular goo ball for the moment, there we go, just brace it up against the wall, put one in the middle. Okay, that actually puts, pulls them aside. Okay. Um, Ooh, one this there. might be a challenge. Let's see. Okay, that, that got pulled on. We still have our brace over here, so we can pull away the lowest ones. Okay. 
Oh, another sign. Some big yeah, some winners are bigger than other winners. Look in each area's menu for more important information. And with distinction, the sign painter. The menu? It's yep, OCD. Obsessive uh, completion dis <laughs> distinction criteria. Collect 16 or more balls. Okay, so that's that uh, extra thing that I was talking about earlier. Oh. Okay, losing some structure. Alright, uh, let's pull that. They're being a bit weird with how they're connecting and not. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, save that one. <laughs> okay, let's take this a bit slower. Use one more of the wandering ones. Build another level here to brace. Okay. And uh, not the best brace, but Okay. So pulling from the underside. Okay, there we go. Slowly but surely. I say that and I immediately go for a long <laughs> one. Okay. But you might you? need to to try and... I think you're doing something wrong. There you go. There, braced again. They're not the most stable yet, so let's put one there. One there. Okay, it seems that we can just build... If we build with a line of four, it should be stable-ish. I say that and immediately that gets pulled aside. Okay, so we should avoid the cross beams and these upper ones. <laughs> or maybe not. Okay, it Game is just being weird every now. What is with these things? It... Okay. Uh, let's stop with that. Oh wait, is that re that's resets? It it undoes the last thing that we did. Okay. Oh, another sign. Uh, that we already read that one. Oh. Okay. And uh, now they remove the. Uh, uh, you're going a bit robotic. Uh, that's, that probably got reset because we hit a reset back to uh, where we hadn't uh, you know, clicked it. Ah, uh, okay, that, that, that yes. could make sense. Okay. Here we go. We reached it, but now we need to brace here. Oh, we reached it for a moment there. Okay. Ooh. Careful not to drop all the way back down now. Okay. Then that's going to start sucking. Now we can start plucking away. And let's see how many we can pluck out before everything drops down. Yeah, I'm kind of curious. How many can we save before? <laughs> okay, now this is the bracing line. Um, Somehow that's... Oh. Okay, now it is literally only held up by the suction. And there we go. <laughs> Okay, so we got 12. But uh, I think the the OCD <laughs> counter uh, wanted us to save 16. Uh, oh well. We got more than enough. What the heck? 99 moves in 6 minutes. Oh well. We got a pass and that's all that need all that matters. Okay. Chain. Hmm. 
Okay, a bunch of sleeping goo balls. A bit of architecture. <laughs> what the heck? The goo balls on this side don't seem to like the goo balls over there on that side. I don't know, they look the same to me. Totally delicious. Uh, the sign painter. Okay. But uh, yeah, each of these goo balls needs at least two connection points before they will well, before they will be allowed to be placed. So yeah, we can't just make a chain of singles. For now, all we need to do is reach those and get them connected. Okay, get on there. Okay, now we need to get them over here. All right, deconstruct this. Oh, right, I forgot. The physical, <clears throat> the physical area needs to be avoided. Okay, go around. And let's actually do that for a bit more structure. There. Why, do, why am I moving the cursor overhead on the way back? <laughs> There's no need for that. Okay. I immediately forget it again that I need to move them over. Okay. There. I think you'd be a little bit too far to one side. <laughs> yeah. Well, we can still get these. Uh, we need one more. There we go. Get on. And the rest of you get back on as well. fell off. Okay. And where is the... There is the pipe. Okay. So... Let's start here. Oh, no. Don't tell me that thing is... Okay, that's going to wiggle back and forth a lot more. <laughs> hmm. Then that is a bit useless there. Come on, all of, all of them are congregating here. Okay, come on, just need to get just close enough. There we go. And we can deconstruct the rest. Okay. And there we go. Only a single one. No, I, only two left behind. <laughs> and three included one in your hand. <laughs> yeah, that's just a cursor. It's not a goop ball itself. Oh. Let's see. Oh, oh, okay. So we need to finish both parts. They're typically, when a... In a game, when a part splits, you can choose which one to do. Um, yeah. <laughs> Whatever the hell this is. Club with frog? Fisty swore he would never be like those tadpoles that grow up and shoot colored gems out of their mouths. And I think that's a... I think that's a reference to... Uh, Zool, I think it is. It's that game with the uh, the colored balls that go down a line and you have a frog in the middle that shoots uh, marbles. And you need to make connections of three or bigger to uh, stop the, bomb the marbles from getting to the end goal or something like that. I thought Zool was a game about a candy ninja. <laughs> uh, but he wondered what it might be like. The sign painter. Okay. And... Ooh. Ooh. 
Oh, and that's one dead Gooball. <laughs> okay. Pop a time bug to go back in time by one move. The, tr the traveling signpost. Uh, paint it blue. Okay. Those are time bugs. Yeah. Though I think the one that we accidentally dropped here, that one isn't coming back, I'd say. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we need to make a bridge here, but we don't have anything to support on. So we're we going to need balloons. to use these balloons, yeah. But we can't overuse them because there's also spikes at top. So yeah, it's uh, a balancing act. Yeah, very much balancing act. Okay. Oh dear. No. Don't you all move over there. Let's put one over there. No, not another one. Do. Yeah, you... yeah, this is gonna be a challenge. But you're gonna you're gonna need a lot of balloons in the right places. Yep. Okay. Ooh, 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 almost there. Okay. One there, we move the back. Okay. This is better to work from, since we now have well, room to... <laughs> ooh. I say that, and almost immediately it goes into the pit. Okay. Uh, one there. Then quickly put one there. Ooh, ooh. At least the red ones don't pop immediately upon touching that. We're getting close. Okay. Ooh. Not risking it. Oop. Okay, so... Huh. Okay, so they... The, earlier they didn't... They were just... Ooh. This is getting out of hand. Okay. There we go. Okay, the red ones don't actually count. Where they aren't, well, pulled in. So we can lose those, at least. All right, that is good to know. We didn't lose a single black one, at least. All right. Impale Sticky. In case we missed the paint <laughs> the sign earlier. Uh, let's see where. There it is. The Goobals were excited to explore the mysterious pipe system. Even if it meant traversing ridiculously con <laughs> contrived terrain. <laughs> One of the Goobals seemed to say he felt like an armadillo. Moo. Uh, wrong animal. <laughs> Love the mysterious sign painter. Okay, so we've got a lot of balls. Uh, I hope that one is a securing one here. Yeah. Uh, mm. okay, there are some concerns for this game for me already. Uh, in what ways? I mean, it is sure and all, but I see already, and I think I even recall that it can be very annoying as well. Okay, that destroys them. Hmm. I recall a YouTuber who did that was very calm all through the game, but it was someone with very... Even his uh, calmness were, was running out. Yeah. Okay, put one more there for structure support. He didn't rage, but I think the YouTuber was. But... You could really hear ooh. the frustration. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yep. 
I yeah. think you can see why. Yeah, if you build something up, uh, there's, and it all comes collapsing down, yeah, that would be frustrating. <laughs> Okay. Um, let's try it more like. Okay. It pushed itself yeah. away a bit more. Uh, yeah. I mostly look, watch this before going to bed, for it was a bit of a. Well. Can you want to watch YouTube from bed through a TV? Maybe not watch something like Resident Evil or something like that. Maybe something more light as you're turning more sleepy. Yeah. But I do uh, recall... Happened? Yeah, frustrations. And I do recall also some levels getting very ridiculous. In a bit of... Uh, almost mercilessly. There we go. Now it's secure. But... Hmm. We, we definitely would have to see how things would go, yeah. Um, I, yeah, like I said, I did play this game before, but I, uh, I also got stuck at some point, or I just lost interest. I don't know exactly which anymore. It could be mixed but, up. Yeah. Yeah, it, hmm. We could, of course, also look up uh, possible solutions or at least <clears throat> advice for later levels. And for now, four, three, two, one. And that's the 30 minute timer going off. So, yeah. I'd put this at uh, maybe. Most likely a weekend yeah. thing. Yeah, I also say maybe due to like it looks relaxing at first, but again, I do re remember that it can get very merciless and frustrating. Like yeah. remember, you need to a specific number of goose. Like sometimes you can't finish it. Problem is you can't finish the with someone else with enough goose. Which is yeah, that's the problem. Try to figure out how do I finish this with this right amount of goo. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. For now, we're done with this one. So let's move on to the second game. And yes, I changed up the background of the gameplay window uh, because there was a copy uh, mark on the previous one. Okay. Starting up. Screen sharing to Dirk here. And Thank moving you. this thing into place. So it's a bit easier to see. Yeah. XCOM Enemy Within. Or more accurately, XCOM Enemy Unknown with the Enemy Within expansion as well. This game was divisive when it first came out. But since then, people have grown to love it. Um, personally, yeah, I I tried the original XCOM. I've seen people play it. I've seen people play it to the end. Uh, I've never managed that. Uh, and when I'm when I'm speaking of the original XCOM, I'm meaning the DOS one. Yeah, it goes way back, people. <laughs> and yeah, I'd say. Yeah, I, I'd agree that this is, this has proven to be uh, a good modernization of the series, and well, other you know, other games have been sort of copying from it, like uh, Phoenix Point. Which... Actually, it... hmm? sorry, go on. Yeah, you go on. I, I keep I interrupting saying... you enough. You get priority. Uh, I, I want to say it has actually become an official genre term, with the developer of XCOM, the original one, and this one. Is happy that his game has become a own genre of XCOM like. He loves uh, it has become its own genre in that matter. Okay. Uh, there is also there there are also games that are more accurate to the original version, like Xenonauts, 
And uh, the, the Phoenix Point that I mentioned earlier was made uh, by or with help from the original uh, designers or creators, uh, I forget which specific word is accurate, of the, well, DOS version of XCOM. And I'd heard, I've heard mixed things about Phoenix Point. Uh, but I've also heard that as time went, they improved things because yeah, the first big thing against them was that they took on an Epic Store exclusivity even after, well, people on Steam and such pre-ordered it. So basically shafting the fans who, well, funded you. That That is never going to be a liked action. And apparently uh, people in China or at least uh, Asia or some parts of Asia uh, who helped the uh, Kickstarter for Phoenix Point because it was kickstarted, uh, crowdfunded, uh, they just cannot get the game at all or without VPN because, yeah, Epic Games to, or they couldn't get it at all. Uh, I, I think it's now on Steam. I'm not entirely sure. I don't own it, I think. Uh, but yeah, Epic Games Store, the Epic Games Store is banned in China. So yeah, th those fans who paid uh, to fund the game, uh, they didn't get anything for quite a while. Wait, how did they get banned in China when they are basically partially owned by a Chinese company? Uh, don't ask me, I got that from TV Tropes. So the accuracy might not be completely accurate. But for now, uh, let's start the timer. Let's, uh, let's leave it on normal. Classic and impossible, uh, you don't see me doing that. And let's see, advanced options. To, yeah, let's put the tutorial on. Uh, Project Progeny. In the course of defending Earth against the alien invasion, undertake a campaign to rescue an alien like who is more than she seems. An operation slingshot. Make contact with the mysterious triad operative and gain access to a device that could yield a decisive advantage against the invaders. Uh, Iron Man option is basically uh, you cannot save. Only the game can save for you. And reduce beginner VO. This option will turn off the voiceover aimed primarily at new players. Enable it if you don't want uh, Dr. Valen to, for example, warn you about the trade-off in using explosives to kill aliens. Well, we are starting this as if we are completely new. So let's just start. Those who play with the devil's toys will be brought uh, by degrees to wield his sword. Buckminster Fuller. I'm guessing that's a title because that would be a really odd first name. It's Buckminster, not Minister. I, di I didn't see a second at eye there, but oh well, there's a reason I have an eye patch and glasses. And really. <laughs> You're all just going to crowd around the ugly... Th well, this doesn't... Yeah. Humanity is a habit of poking things with a stick, biting them in the ass again. Something, something, seen enough hentai. Something, something. Come on, alien! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it's it's practically obligate, you know, obligatory to make a death joke when anything with tentacles or something similar is coming. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. 
Maybe it's just me knowing the history behind all of this as well, but my, the hairs on my arm are standing on end now from that. Oh dear. That was the last transmission, sir. Patch me through to Voodoo 3 1. You are being deployed to Germany. At 1900 hour Zulu, several unidentified objects fell to Earth. After ruling out the possibility of a downed satellite, we now believe these objects to be extraterrestrial in nature. Shortly after impact, German officials received reports of mass hysteria and freak weather around one of the impact zones. Then things went dark. At 2100 hours, a chopper carrying a German military recon team went down in the area after they reported being fired upon. As you know, Germany is a member of the Council, and they have requested our assistance. Our mission is to assess the situation on the ground, ascertain the current status of the German recon team, and investigate the extraterrestrial objects. Central out. Uh, yeah, we're, this is the... This is the, well, pre-mission briefing screen that we'll be getting every time. These, um, Some of these missions will be scripted and will have their specific names. Otherwise, they will be randomly generated or randomly-ish generated with random names as well. Which apparently, in some cases, you can get some really stupid names. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Central, this is Big Sky. Looks like we found the crash site. Roger, Voodoo 3-1. Any sign of activity? Negative. Nothing's moving down there. Okay. Set her down nearby. Central. You getting all this? Copy that, Delta Squad. First things first, let's get you out of the open and into cover. Whatever did this could still be out there. Delta One, take point. Take cover behind that debris directly in front of you. Is it, uh, right mouse button to move. Pretty basic stuff. I think we've even covered this sort of thing before. Uh, we have <clears throat> Our characters have two action points each time. And the line is the, the line on the ground is how far they can move. Of course, moving Delta takes four two, points. Move up to the debris. That thing isn't going to offer you much cover, but it's better than nothing. There's full cover straight ahead. Advance to that position. Yeah. Full cover, of course, better than half cover. Delta three. Uh, move to that vehicle dead ahead. But half cover is still better than, well, standing out in the open, ready to get shot in the head. Central, I have movement. Yeah. 30 meters north of my position. Police vehicle. Roger. Proceed to the next vehicle for a better vantage point. I kind of like the XCOM has become its own so genre. Your position, and there's no available cover between here and there, so you better double time it. And yeah, we can just sprint outright somewhere. Sometimes it is yeah, better uh, to do that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see, what was I saying? Yeah, right. What do you see, Delta 4? Report. Looks like one of the recon teams, sir. It looks like something. Is that your man, Delta 4? Negative, sir. That's someone else. Dr. Valen, what's he saying? He is saying, help me. That radio transmission is coming from somewhere north of the squad's current position. Based on its strength, probably from inside a structure. Thank you, Doctor. Delta, advance and infiltrate that building. And remember, stay in cover. You were saying? I will say, it's ironic the x will become its own genre. That's just an original developer of it approves of it happily is it gives more people a new genre to experiment with yeah and there's been many experimentation like 
it's all about combining this with the uh, slash hero of Mighty Magic 3 style. Okay, it was called Fort Valiant. I made it wrong. Dancer, I've heard of that. Then there was. Roger. See where it's coming from. Uh, let's see, you can I... move the mouse with the camera around a bit. And there's some recent one, like Marvel's Midnight Sun is apparently XCOM like, with Marvel heroes. Oh, what's left of him. But this doesn't make sense. Looks like he's been dead for a week. Even more perplexing is the cause of death. It appears that he was eviscerated when something burst out of him from the inside. Sir, I have visual on the object. Permission to approach. It's the only cover between you and that building. Permission granted. And the, yeah, yeah, the Phoenix point that I brought up earlier also takes things a bit interesting because it, uh, in most of these games it is just health bars and just get those empty and you kill the thing. In Phoenix Point, uh, you can actually, well, damage. You can actually damage specific parts of the body enough to make them, well, useless or less useful at the very least. And it it allows free aiming, which makes it uh, <clears throat> makes it easier or harder to hit certain parts. And that I, of it, I certainly do like. Talk to me, soldier. What is it? I got no idea what this thing is. But I can confirm that it's no satellite. Roger. Hmm. All right, Delta Squad. We're almost to the building. Keep moving. Yeah, I wouldn't want to get near those things. Especially after seeing the footage. If these people got to see that footage, that is. People. Now let's get inside. It's a good chance that they, they didn't one. get There's to see that. Let's take a look. Need to know bases and all that stuff. In position. Looks clear. Copy that. Get in there and get to cover. Delta 2. That door's in our way. Take it down. And Solid yeah. Copy. They will just bash through windows and doors like that. I kind of wonder how many games have been taking inspiration from this style. Central, we have eyes on the target. He's armed. Copy, Delta-3. Okay, everyone. Get into position nearby, but do not approach. Doctor, see if you can communicate with him. Tell him to drop his weapon. I will try. Hello. Können Sie mich hören? Wir sind hier, um Ihnen zu helfen. Bitte lassen Sie Ihre Waffen fallen. He appears to be in shock. Keep your eyes open, people. I don't like the looks of this. Yeah, when dealing with Delta unknowns... Three. Move in and disarm him. Carefully. Nope. Visitor. Or not. Stick your head in. Freaking cat. <laughs> Now shit goes down. He's down. Delta One is down. Central, we're taking fire for multiple X-rays. This guy's got me pinned down, taking heavy fire. Damn it! Delta Two, your flank too. Find some better cover. Uh, oh, okay. It forced us down over there, anyways. Uh, yeah, we need to... <laughs> All right, Delta 2. Weapons free. Get ready to fire. Okay, over here it shows if you can have a line of fire on targets, or line of sight at least. And, yeah. Uh, cover isn't going to do anything if uh, they're just going to shoot you from the side. So, uh, let's see. 
fire. Then we can... Well, we would be able to select, but we have only one target now. So let's open up. Nice shot. Delta 4, you're freed up to move. Get out of there and get into cover. Now toss your grenade at the enemy in front of you. Okay. Grenade. And catch... Now get ready for their counterattack. Look out, Delta Four. There's another one coming in behind you. Damn it. It's just you now, Delta Two. Let's tip the odds in our favor. Look around for a position where you can flank the enemy. That's it. You have a clear shot from that position. Fire. I think that's it. It's over. Roger that, Delta. Secure the bodies and head back to the Sky Ranger for immediate extraction. Yeah, that was all scripted, of course. But, yeah, things can really take a turn quickly if, uh, well, things go wrong like that or you overestimate yourself. Yeah. That's... So you have to be very careful and tactical. Yeah. Let's see. And Let it... bloody pray that the game doesn't screw you over for. Yeah, I think I think Hina can give me the one part of just one part of uh, XCOM that's has grown into quite an infamy. Yeah, it, it it can be hard as balls, especially the the higher the difficulty goes. Affirmative. Oh, well, I'm not We're referring to that. Hmm? I'm referring to 70% or 90% yeah, chance that, to hit, yeah. but you still miss every time. <laughs> and here comes our sole survivor. Whatever they are, they nearly took out a squad of our best soldiers. If you'll excuse me, doctors, the commander is waiting in mission control. Their technology is far beyond ours. Then I'd say our work is cut out for us, doctor. A squad of their best, all rookies. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. And yeah, promotions are the leveling system in this game. And this here is our base, or at least what we have of it at the moment. We're getting there anyways. The soldier is waiting for you in the armory, which is located there in the barracks. Let's see. New soldiers, and here we have them. Esquadi Sergio Marquez. Only one recruit from Delta Squad made it back alive from our last mission, Commander. And I'd say a promotion is in order. But what flag is that? Um, I have actually no idea. Hmm. Let's see. Promotion icon next to abilities. And it lets you know that they are eligible for promotions, select like abilities As you to promote. Know, Commander, every soldier is different. This particular soldier has shown an aptitude for heavy weapons. As he gains additional combat experience, we should continue his training along these lines. And um, yeah. Oop. New training. Mm. This soldier will now carry a rocket launcher in addition to his standard weapon. The aliens won't know what hit him. What if I remember correctly, oh, there are five Dr. classes. Has to see you in the research labs, Commander. It sounded important. Commander, and, yeah. I think this is. Uh, Commander, go ahead. research labs. I think there's four or five or more, depending on the if you have expansion or not. Yeah, which we do. Um, but yeah, each of those classes have their special focus. Though, as you could see, those those tech skill trees split off, so you could uh, focus more on one thing or another. 
Uh, I know that at the very least there is assault, heavy, um, support, and sniper. That's four. I'm not. I'm not sure if what the fifth may be. If there is. Uh, psychic and mech or cyborg, something like that. Uh, so yeah. the fifth psychic is a special one, like. You can be a heavy in psychic or something like yeah. that. I think it's additive, yes. The mech one, yeah, that is definitely separate. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Let's see, select weapon fragments or alien materials to begin research. Um, I forget specifically what gives what. I, I think alien materials leads to armor. Weapon fragments I'm not too sure about. But yeah, it shows you how long it will take for things to research and what you need for it to do. Both of these... Weapon fragments are for weapons. Yeah, or at least towards weapons. Uh, for Xenobiology, we need more sectoid corpses. Sectoids were, the, well, the aliens that we saw earlier. Um, let's go with weapon fragments. Thank you, Commander. This research will take some time. We will notify you once it is complete. Commander, to mission it sounds like you are needed elsewhere. Farewell, Commander. If you recover any additional artifacts during your field operations, I would be quite eager to study them. Commander, to mission control. Commander, to mission control. Yeah. The enemy is testing our capabilities, Commander. We've gotten reports of simultaneous attacks in two different countries. We can only respond to one. The country we help will donate more resources to our cause. But the panic level of the country we choose not to help will rise. It's not an easy decision, Commander, but it's one you'll have to make. Yeah, this is something that I believe some people did not like at all. But in a way, it does make sense. Uh, uh, yeah, we have, well, in s slight ways. Um, in the original XCOM, you... Uh, there wasn't this choice, of course. You, as long as you had a uh, trans, as long as you had transport and you know, personnel available, you could go after everything you could find. But yeah, here we are limited to only one of multiple. I believe at at the moment it's two, but I think it could go up to three possible places at once. And. Yeah, it also gives you a difficulty how high the panic in an area is. If that maxes out, they will actually cut funding to you entirely, I believe. And we can also see what sort of reward we will be getting. And since it's the start, scientists are going to be extra useful, so let's go there. Understood. The troops are waiting for you in the hangar. Commander, before deploying our squad, you can choose which soldiers to send out there. I've taken the liberty of calling up our veteran. His combat experience makes him invaluable on the battlefield. Yeah. At the moment we can only send in four, but we can upgrade that to six total. And yeah, we can edit these units, uh, change their loadout. We don't have any extra body armor or weaponry. Or we certain okay. weapons are okay. locked. To specific hey, classes. recognized. <laughs> And yeah, that's the Russian flag. Uh, you can add it there. Yeah, you can customize any character. You can give them a different last first name, last name. And uh, you can even have their color armor uh, colored. Uh, facial hair, color, even you know, hairs and helmets, <laughs> skin I'm tone. I'm already concerned. If we were to start streaming this as a series, I'd be very concerned. Uh, yeah, even well. what language they speak. Reason because some people would be, yeah, I suspect the healer would name many characters after me and other friends. 
uh, at the end we ha we end up with uh, Drakir the 15th. Now you see people my concern. <laughs> and also I think the survivor of our first mission might be Peruvian though I, I might be wrong. I not really see much of South American flags. But the only South American flag I know I can identify directly would be Brazil for it's yeah, Brazil has a very yeah. unique one. Yeah, it's hard to not see it from anything football related. Let's see, alien abduction in progress, site is clear of civilians, collateral damage is not a concern. The tip, be on the lookout for ladders and drain pipes, gaining a height advantage over an enemy increases your chance to hit them. And let's go. Uh, yeah, in the original XCOM you'd often have civilians crossing the line of fire in even the most basic missions, if at least you weren't attacking alien bases. All right. Hold on, soldier. Hey. Before you move out, let's see what's inside that building. Your squad mate is closer, so let him check it out. Check in the world. Your survivor's flag is not Peruvian. Okay. So it's not a ROM. <laughs> and we have ourselves a Ramirez. Open the door. Quietly, so you don't reveal your position to the enemy. Yeah. This doesn't take an action. Unlike kicking a door in opening it, will not reveal your location. Uh, oh, left mouse. Okay. Now take cover inside. There isn't right. too much now reason to actually be this stealthy, I think. See if you can find a way up there, soldier. Okay, our veteran. Sergio. It's usually good uh, to be very stealthy here for... It can give you a lot of adv uh, advantages when the enemy do discover you or they fade to discover you and you have a lot of upper hand. Yeah, because there is one complaint that we're going to see here. Advance toward the enemy and get into cover. Hold your fire until I give the word. Yeah, there isn't really much use to stealth most of the time because the moment that an enemy is spotted, uh, they'll activate and they'll have spotted you as well in turn. Okay, uh, did it say for to send these somewhere or not? Um, yeah, I think they want you to send them to flank them. Okay. But um, you can still stealth some units out so they don't notice this, this, that you are about to flank them and such. Yeah. Let's choice. move this one over here. Possibly could have moved him better one step back so they couldn't shoot at them. And you are going the long way around. Double time. It's a good idea to keep squads spread out because, yeah, we have grenades and so do they. Oop. And that's cover destroyed. Let's see. Uh, tactical combat UI? Okay, it's going into our actions here uh, let's not actually uh, or am I being I'm being forced into this okay that it, let's see we have 68% chance to hit that one only 52 on this also shows above them it also shows it here and our weapon will do up to five damage so yeah let's hope that Sergio survives this okay oh dear. and also I do seem to have some uh, issues with the voice uh, connection for you and me. I may notice a uh, likely robot it now and then. Okay. Ramirez, go over here. And it's a, it's a long bit of a long shot. But go for it anyways. Yeah, sometimes it is better to just take a shot, even if it's unlikely to actually hit. Uh, let's see, we can't get into here for cover. We can get here. But it also depends, you do have an ammunition to think about. Yeah, but at the very least you have infinite ammo, so we can... So just completely running out is not an issue. Just completely missing like that is. Maybe it is on harder difficulty then, I guess. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm As far as I know, you... You can't run out of ammo in a mission, I believe. Um, Alright, then you, you only need to remember to reload it then. Yeah. I guess. Let's... Let's put you here. 
Actually, I could have moved her further because he's likely going... Oh, he's scattering away. Or skittering away. Okay, now the... Wait, is he in Overwatch? Oh, yeah. In this game, Overwatch can be extremely overpowered. Yeah. Okay. And then at the same time, you really want to use Overwatch due to how unfair the game can be. Yeah. Okay, no luck on that. Oh, well. Uh, we can... We can move over to the next soldier with tab and shift. Okay. For now, though, let's not take many risks. The commander will be assuming command now as you sweep the rest of the area. As always, I'll be offering tactical advice as needed. And remember, your armor can only withstand a couple of shots from their weapons. So keep your eyes open and your heads down. Good luck. Overwatch is this here. Fire on the first enemy that moves within your line of sight at a small aim penalty. So the chance to hit is less, but if you catch an enemy crossing open an open area, they are a lot more likely to be hit even with the penalty. Yeah, and take more damage from it as well. Yep. All right. Marquez. Now, sometimes, I have to say, sometimes it does feel like the Overwatch have better accuracy. <laughs> uh, that's likely because uh, that, that one that one time that Overwatch kills an enemy right before they'd be able to shoot uh, or drop a grenade in your squad is likely uh, to be more remembered than all the other 100 times that they'd missed. Yeah. Okay. Slowly but surely crawl forwards. But yeah, the attack of uh, every time you find a cover and go watch directly is a very valid tactic. Yeah. Slowly bunny hopping uh, from place to place at safety. Uh, but that is the half hour mark. So let's rush a little bit. Because there should right, only be a few more enemies here. Just gonna go grab my food. So, ah, uh, it's XCOM. It's worthless to say. Try not to die. <laughs> yeah. Ah, there they are. And they're hiding. Okay, if we still had the rocket, we probably could have just sent it straight to the front door. <laughs> Uh, just get behind there. They can't get a shot at us here, anyways. Okay. Move up there. Oh. Uh, yep. Enemy overwatch. Which means they have line of sight on us. Oh, and there comes the second one. That one actually hits. Okay, they're both hiding in the doorway there. Uh, that is too far away to get with, uh, with the grenades. Yeah, if we still had the rocket, we could take them out, yeah, both out easily. But for now, let's risk the shot. And actually get them straight through the wall. <laughs> okay. Uh, you move over there. Nothing in sight. So, Overwatch for you. This is hella exposed. But move over there. It's better than teaming, it's better than bunching up and getting grenaded. Okay. Uh, like this. Okay. He's going to Overwatch, so somebody is going to have to risk getting hit. I believe... Uh, I think it's with the Assault class that if a character is dashing, they are less likely to be hit by Overwatch. Uh, so, Lakshmi, uh, I hope you're Overwatch when <laughs> you get Overwatch if you survive this. Okay, there we go. Uh, distance, of course, also spells... Uh, spells... Uh, <laughs> plays... Uh, a roll in accuracy. Uh, move over there. 
And risk it for the biscuits. Yeah, heavy weaponry tends to be less accurate, I believe. But it also deals more... It, it also potentially deals more damage. You get up close. It also depends on from what range. Yeah. Do, if I remember right, putting a heavy and assault on Overwatch is damn dangerous. Especially with snipers. Yes, well, I believe snipers are actually the most dangerous when put on Overwatch. Oh yeah. Though again, heavy and assault will be damn good provided the, 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 on the range. Okay, here we go. 60%, we, even though if we just took one step forward, we'd have them flanked. <laughs> due to odd calculations, that still counts as full cover. But we still gun it down just as easy. <laughs> if I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. And yeah, we get... Uh, a summary of how things went, and well, we killed all the aliens, we didn't lose anyone, so this was an excellent operation. Yep, oh, and I almost forgot, there is a side effect of using grenades and explosives. Yeah, it destroys their weapons and anything you might recover for them, from them. Yeah, like, you can still recover some things, but it, it may reduce to less to nothing. No, and Ramirez did... Corpse. Oh, no, it was Lakshmi that I sent out. Uh, <laughs> it's Ramirez who got assault promotion. The uh, artifacts yeah. are being unloaded, and the What we got? Uh, it's okay. Oh. I, uh, the situation uh, room provides constant yeah, monitoring on. of every Let member nation in the council. If we allow panic levels to get out of control in any given nation, they're going to withdraw from the council, and they'll take their funding and additional support um, with them. Okay, that'll work, just minimizing it. Uh, yeah, I'd say this definitely has a very good chance of being streamed. So likely on normal, maybe even on the lower difficulty. <laughs> Easy. If we really get our ass... Uh, if we get our asses kicked. But yeah, definitely a good one. Oh yeah, I can see us having fun streaming this for the story. And one of the spin-offs that is somewhat recent? Uh, XCOM Chimera? Yeah. More story driven. It's plays like the others, but has more story. And actually, you have uh, actual permanent characters. Or I think permanent, semi permanent characters that you can okay. associate. So I, have, I have that one. I haven't played it yet, though, uh, because oh. it would give spoilers for XCOM 2, which I still need to freaking play. Oh. For now, moving on to the third game. Which advises a gamepad. And... Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, a lot of people probably recognize this. Come on. <laughs> okay, that's a, that was a face. <laughs> uh. I didn't expect this to go on for this long. <laughs> Alright, 
Yeah, this is Yakuza 0. And I've heard a lot about this game. Luckily, not much on spoilers. And if I did get real spoilers, I've forgotten by now. But uh, yeah, this game... This game is very well liked from what I remember. For its serious parts and its silly parts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's try it on normal and start the timer. It's now 15 past 4, so we are a bit over time. We are looking at a bit of overtime at this rate, but oh well. Okay. Is he really that beaten up over trespassing? Or did he really get beaten up just for simple trespassing? Can I, that, ow. Okay. Redevelopment plan? I, I know nothing about this game's story. Oh, 1988, December 9, Tokyo. Okay. Yeah, I think he's a bit more serious about things than you are. Also, you going to clean that up anytime? Does he even know that there's blood on his face? Sure. From what little I know, I know that some of the characters in this game are supposedly a bit thick in the head. よ。ちょっと
オリハンが常識のこのご時世安い取り分でやってもらってんだ普通なら本職の人にこんな安い額の取り立て頼めないからねでも同年代のガキどもが万殺ちらつかせてタクシー乗る時代に本職の君が金もないんじゃさまんなんねえだろまこれは俺との初仕事を終えたご祝儀みたいなもんだはっとっとぎ、okay. There are small animations in the faces <笑>しかしバカに金貸しちまうと後が面倒でしょうがねえな三十万ポッチしてんのは簡単だが回収しとかねえと商売としてのけじめがつかねえなええまあ俺も長いことこの町で金貸しやってるからよくわかる今の世の中金の本当の価値が分かってるやつなんてほとんどいやしないその点額のない君の方が高学歴の若造よりよっぽど分かってる気がするんだけどそうじゃない俺には分かりませんそれじゃこれでなあうちに来ねえか兄ちゃん君の腕っぷしならヤクザやるよりもっと簡単にもっと多くの金が稼げるいい飯腹いっぱい食っていい女を好きなだけ抱けるそれだけじゃない金さえあれば不幸な人間を幸せにすることすらできるヤクザは下積みが長い手っ取り早くのし上がるにはうちに来て稼ぐってのもいい選択だと思うんだが3年前にその言葉を聞いてればそうしてたかもしれませんけど一度極道になったもんは時間を巻き戻せないそれが答えかヤクザには誰かを幸せにすることなんてできないんすかね<笑>さあな俺はヤクザになったことねえからわからねえまっ気が変わったらいつでも連絡してくれじゃあ I'm pretty sure with the Yakuza it's the same as in most organized crime organizations once you're in you're only getting out in a body bag Kaya Kurudo. Oh, yeah, okay, now it's the credit, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hmm.、Uh, what, I know, like I said multiple times now, I know little about this game, but it, it is both at once serious and very silly. Bring it somewhere between Saints Row and GTA, I'd say. Though, probably a bit more respected. Uh, it is, like I said, it's in between.、Uh, it, it doesn't go as outright silly constantly, like,、uh, or at least not as absurd as Saints Row will go. Yeah, what, I, what I've overall heard, this is a good series, and supposedly this game is a highlight of it. Yeah, like, what I know is people like the story more than the other two games you're told about. For all the two day people just like the gameplay. This one people like due to the story. Okay. I don't、really、actually、right. know how many there are in this series. I think they've gone up to number six or so. Yeah, I think so too. Not sure if that includes this one or not. Yeah, it was just to say that. I'm a bit on the show myself. <laughs> Chapter One Bound by Oaths. Again, that's already ten minutes gone. <laughs> oh. This is where Nishiki has said she'd meet me. Guess I beat him here. Let's go to our watch up, too. I'm waiting、uh, for your slow ass to show up. May as well have a look around and see if I can find him. 
Okay, Nishiyama. Okay. This isn't the first game that we've had with uh, open world ish things like this. We also uh, took a shot at Sleeping Dog some time ago. And yeah, we can just walk slowly as well, so we don't just bump everyone aside. Oh, and shakedowns on our turf. Somebody needs to set them straight before they try anything really stupid. Okay. And that somebody is going to be us, it seems. I think he might be older because he's definitely a bit taller. And that's a yes. Okay, and straight into combat we go. Nope. <laughs> okay. Let's see. X for a rush combo, base most basic. Okay. Alright. Okay, typical stuff, health bar and something. What is that brawler? And first, that, that's probably going to be styles, I'm guessing. Let's see. Uh, why during an X combo to perform a finishing blow that knocks the enemy down? The knockdown effect varies depending on the number of times X was pressed. So try it in a few ways. Okay. Uh, one, two. Uh, that makes three. Okay. A yellow gauge on the top left indicates your health. The game will end if the yellow part is fully depleted, so keep an eye on the health at all times. If the gauge flashes red, you're in a very bad shape and should replenish your health immediately. Use a recovery item or eat something at an eatery. Okay. B to grab. Uh, to get through a block. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is being a bit more difficult than you normally get in a tutorial, with all four of them going at you. Uh, printing is now complete. Have to wipe the smirks off your opponent's faces. If you get hit, you can strike back right away using XYB to discount a resolute counter. You can gain money by knocking down or repeating enemies. Depending on how you do it, you might get a bonus too, so try a range of different moves. Alright. Oop. Really? We just got 6,000 yen for knocking those dumbasses on their ass? Or is that the, the money we're going to get or something? I remember right, that's not much. Yeah, a thousand yen is uh, one buck you know, in comparison. A yen is basically a, a, a cent, you could say. Still, 13,000 yen is a decent amount. There we go. Oh, I got a Zyosha Nina Nishki. Oh, me, it's a matter of them, Conegar. Machia was a spokes at the Kira Nishikiyama of the something bad family. <laughs> おいや、
いやえっとこ,この度はどうもお日柄もよく行くぞ錦You could have completely ignored that, but hmm. しかしよ、お前も様になってきたよな。もう一発のヤクザだ。今日の取り立てももう済ませたんだろ。まあな。これで風間のおやさんも。少し安心するか<笑>さあなアイニコールの鳥居は喧嘩の腕っぷしだけだお前みたいに器用じゃねえからな何言ってんだこんなバカみてえな時代だぜ楽しまなきゃ損だろう少し頭使えや風間のおやつさんが無所から出てくるのは年明けてからだそれまでに俺も少し器用になってくる、okay. へえ。なら、まずそのミスボラシーナリカー、カエテミナランクス。Look pretty good up to me。お前もたまにはゴジュマンのスーツでも着てみろよ。そうすりゃ世の中の見え方もちったかわる。ボルラフクランカドデモイ。カザマノヤサンダテイスモ、ジミナフクキテンダロ。お前な。あの人は組の若頭。同時マグミのナンバーツーだぞ。あのレベルまで行けばそれでも通用するがな。極道商売にある程度見えが必要なんだよ。お前が最近車買ったのもその見えのためか。このこじゃれたライターもオレンダ。そろそろ返せよ。見え張りてんならケチケチすんな。お前も本当は分かってんだろう。人は。車のエンブレムと着ている服のブランドそしてこの道島組のダイモンを見て素直に言うことを聞くヤクザは見え張ってなんぼだぜそんなもんかそんなもんさ肩着のくせしてあごきな商売するやつに借りた金で遊びまくるバカこの町の連中に人の内面なんて見抜けやしねえやつらにとっちゃ外見がすごい、yeah, People spending a bunch also being not much on substance. No m i n i k u n j a n a t a Oh, so that Tana Yosh Tamania Pinko Dorini Demo Yuka. I know that he's so pretty sure there's no English voice acting for this. I'm sure. I think they are some. You can take a quick little peek.、Uh, settings. Um, okay, if it is, it's not going to be adjustable in here. Okay. But yeah, spending so much on a suit, it's just going to be walking around in.、Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> that's wait.、Oh, right trigger to. Okay, that's nice that we can have a button to just move along with. この辺りの店ちゃんと出入りしてるか当たり外れも含めて何でも嫉妬がねえとな金ケチって溜め込むのもいいけどこういうご時世だ金は使いようで売買にもなるでこの町で忍ぶってのはそういうことさ可愛い女子大生がよりどりんどりと言われつい、バーバーばっかり五千円ポッキーのはずがぼったくられるそういうのも全部勉強だと思えばいいつが、そう思わねえとやってられねえだろうなんだろう今のは物の例えであって別に
Uh, it does definitely some food stuffs of it that I want to try at least once, uh, but I always keep forgetting. There is a there's an Oriental store. Uh, I, I know of two locations. I don't actually know which are close. There are two. Uh, there are two stores of the same brand, and they're literally called. Um, I'm actually I'm actually blanking on the half of them, but Oriental is half of their name, just as that. Let's see. What is this? A fight? Looks like it. Yep. Uh, more two drunks <laughs> trying to uh, outpose each other, I think. Come on, you're in the way. What's the what's your problem, Bo? They got a a problem. We're in the middle of some border business. Hey, old man, we're talking to those them. Uh, we're not done here. Uh, who's an old man? You not loads of little punk. Who's this? It's not whatever you said. Uh, uh, <laughs> Now you've done it. You? Come on, Grandpa. Take your best shot. <laughs> Screw it. I completely waste it. It's not worth the trouble. Let's take a different road. No need. I've got a faster way to fix this. There actually has got two ways to fix this. They're called his left hand and his right hand. Do? Where does that make four? If you include his uh, feet. <laughs> yeah, I just need to sew them up a bit with my fists. <laughs> yeah, seems that this guy really is just a, a, a brick you can throw at your problems. And you'll have one way to deal with them. Again, I can't tell if you're a sadist or a charity worker. Now, this should be easy enough. And again, being drunk, they are movements are going to be unpredictable. What are you blabbing about? Stay out of this. Yeah, but out, you butts. <laughs> okay. Oh, heat gates. The three you know, glowing bars in the top left are called the heat, ga the heat gates. Uh, starts at the first bar, and as your attacks hit enemies, the gates fills up, shifting to the second and third. Each level your speed increases. Some moves require a certain level of heat. So once you are used to fighting, keeping an eye on your heat level. Okay. So that, that's definitely going to uh, affect uh, combat. So, or put some more depth into it. Once the heat gauge shifts to the second or third bar, uh, Kiryu's body begins to glow with a blue aura. This is called heat mode and it cycles that you can use special heat attacks. Try using heat actions while sobering up the drunkards. All right. I think I don't know something. <laughs> hmm. I think I heard something that something about the it is common for people of Asian culture to be not as well resistant to alcohol, like they sort of gonna be easier to get drunk or something. <laughs> Another uh, round for you. Not yet. I'm not sure how true that is or not. Yeah, I know that sake is quite potent. I do think I heard that. Uh, they are alcohol allergy it might be more common there. Okay. Uh, let's see. If you take a fighting stance using right shooting a button or right shoulder, movement with left will center around the enemy in front of you. Okay. Oh, hello. Okay, time to take out the trash. <laughs> we didn't need to just break that over his face. <laughs> Uh, do I need to hold this or the it's a hold, yeah. There we go. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> that's well, going that's to be a, bad for your neck. That's very typical anime landing. Yeah. Uh, well, where am I? What am I doing here? Then who are you? Sounds like that's over them up. I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so either. <laughs> Must be your delicate touch. <laughs> I remember watching music videos at that bar. Then we got to talking about which idols we liked. Yeah, then some smartass started making fun of poor sweet Shoka-chan, and then... Yeah, my head's growing. I can't remember past that. 
I think you two have had enough for tonight. Go home. Yeah. Ow. Uh, you shouldn't be the one in pain. It's the other guy that we broke <laughs> three times. Oh, you okay, mister? Yeah, I'll walk you to the train. Take it slow. <laughs> Thanks. You're awful considerate for a kid your age. I'm guessing he was the smart ass, and that was what they were fighting about. All's well that ends well. Let's hit that bar. Yeah. Let's see. Completing certain challenges will earn you CP. You can view them from the pause menu on the completion list. Some more things that will happen, uh, probably happen on their own as you play the game, but others will require more uh, deliberate efforts. Visit temples or shrines to access the CP exchange menu. <coughs> Pardon? Where you can spend CP to earn special blessings ranging from being able to sprint for longer distances to earning more cash from fights. There are big helps, so take a look. So Alright. Oh dear. Yeah. What? Oh. Uh, you were going to say something? I was going to say, uh, the reason I brought up the word alcohol to was, I think I recall hearing that alcohol in Japan is a bit weaker than in other countries. Hmm. I, I know. Uh, uh, go on. Uh, I'm still not sure for this information toggle was a while ago I heard of. So I can yeah. be very wrong here. Yeah, I think I've heard similar with uh, British drinkers when they come over to the Netherlands for when there's a yeah, football or something. And that supposedly the alcohol here is a lot stronger than over on the Isle. So you often get a bunch of drunken hooligans from that. Supposedly. <laughs> what a waste. A damn shame, I'd say. Hmm? If you've got a punch like a two-ton gorilla, then you go wasting it on drunks? What do you think that talent was meant for? What a draw fighting prowess. Mm. Could just help a couple of guys work off some alcohol, that's all. Yeah. Again, not sure how that's how that works. <laughs> yes, that's the point. That's the problem. You want to talk alcohol? You, you know, you're like taking one swig from a vintage bottle and tossing the rest. Going from the look of you, you're a Japanese mafia, yeah? Uh. Something like that. Yes. Yeah, seems you're pretty confident in the fight. Real dynamite boy. Mm -hmm. Calling me boy? <laughs> <laughs> Don't get ruffled now, kid. Compared to me, you're practically a Tatar. Oh. Mm, his hair looks more blonde than white, I'd say. But it could be the light. Hey, cure you. What's the hold up, man? It's nothing. Be right there. No sense wasting time on this drunk. I should just go. Too much booze is bad for you, Gramps. Take care. Hey. Hey, now. Hold up. Wait. I got one piece of advice for you. And I've got a friend waiting for me. If you got something to say, make it quick. What? Oh. Out for a night with your main dog? Me and the boys used to really rack it, back when I was your age. If you spend all your money playing around, you'll never get stronger. You gotta invest in yourself. What, like a gym membership? No. Nah, nah. There's no better than spending it on booze. I'm talking about investing in yourself, literally. Literally? What's that even mean? That you ask, my boy. Here's a special lecture, just for you. you... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that lecture is skill points. <laughs> Let's see. Upgrades now available. And yeah, we literally invest in ourselves with this. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. You keep pouring money into yourself and with a little training that talent of yours will grow in no time. So keep the women on in, in the budget here. Uh, fourth wall. Watch that. Hmm. Investing in myself, literally? Never thought of that. <laughs> Bet you're glad you stopped and listened now, eh? Yeah, I guess I am. Yo, cure you! I'm coming. That serious talk killed my boss. Time for round two. You have a good night, my boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, this game also doesn't take itself too seriously at times. What a weird old man. What's his deal? You know, his deal is uh, poking holes through the fort wall. 
Okay. Uh, we are almost out of time, though. Yeah, literally 25 seconds now. So might as well stop it here. I, I am yeah, interested. Already... Yeah, hmm. sort of curious, even... Again, as I said to people my phone times before, I'm not very big on uh, things like uh, GTA and such. Hmm. Uh, skip all of that. And... Uh, yeah, Y is quit. Okay. Stop. Are you sure? Yes. Hmm. Maybe... We... This might be a bit late to do this, but maybe we could smooth the timer to 25 minutes so that we could have a bit of overtime on that and still keep things a bit closer to 30 minutes. Hmm. But that's for so the future. We do, yeah, we do spend time the small talking as well. Yeah. So let's move on to the last game of the batch. Yep, made by Platonic Games. And Team 17, the guys or the people behind Worms, I believe. Yep, and they recently made a dwarf game. No. Hammer thing, do I'm um, skipping by for a pen? You need, you have to get something called Vulcan. Okay, uh, let's see, give me a moment to move this window up a bit. Uh, not open like. Yeah. Okay, I can't. It, it was, it's refusing to be. No, oh, there we go. Now you want to be moved, huh? Okay, otherwise I'd be having to look down a bit. So, yeah, ukulele. Uh, this was basically supposed to be the modern Benzo Kazooie. And I think the people behind this, or, or some of the people behind this, also worked on Benzo Kazooie. Can't confirm. Going off of memory, and, well, it's known that my memory isn't amazing. Uh, yeah. Um, this was crowdfunded, and apparently it wasn't as good as people expected. Uh, in part, I'm, I'd probably, you know, I'd probably shape that up for, yeah, too high expectations, because, yeah, you often have that with Kickstarters. So, yeah, as someone who has never played a Banjo-Kazooie game, or many of those collect-a-thon games, I'm going into this completely fresh, so let's start the timer and go. Let's see, munchy tasty butterflies to refill, yeah, or munch tasty butterflies, okay. Sipwreck Creek. The Ivory Towers. Hive Ivory. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, why is there a duck in... A gumball machine? <laughs> Everything has been prepared you know, to your specification, capital B. Workforce is now yours. Of course. Hmm. You think this new statue is golden enough? Or too golden? Uh, oh, it's, um... Focus testing. His employees need someone to look up to. Hold on. What is that? <laughs> vice President. That's the Vice President statue, sir. I didn't sign off on that. Plus, it's casting an awkward shadow on the President's splint. <laughs> Pin it. <laughs> really? Of course, you're the boss now. Now, are you ready to synergize your latest profit plumbing yeah, technology, Dr. Quack? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yes, sir, I prepared the Novelizer 64, a most ingenious invention. You can use it to steal all the dusty old books in the world and leave us as the only player in the market. 
equally ruthless and dynamic strategy, Doctor. I like it. Prepare the device immediately. I want to be on World Force Golf Course by lunchtime. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Why is he in a gumball machine? <laughs> when a, he apparently can't really control well. Yeah, very obvious Banzo-Kazooie feel. <laughs> Frank, make sure you secure the special book. Special book? Okay, so they're stealing all the books in the world. Uh, hmm. And I forget specifically which of, is Yuka and which is Laylee. I think Yuka is the chameleon. This is the life. I think this old shipwreck finally feels like home. Laylee? Okay, yeah. Yuka and Laylee. That'll be my violent paint job, Yuka. It's about time we renovate at this place. Most of the rooms haven't been touched since we moved in. Who knows what's hiding under the floorboards? Insects mainly. At least just they were. <laughs> oh, and some old book I've been using as a drinks coaster. Oh, come on. You've got coasters for that. Oh, I read treasure. I bet that's worth loads. It looks antique, and it's... Really? You reckon we should flog it? I split you 80-20 in my favor. Come on, it, there it goes. Hey, my profit book. It's being sucked away. The pages, they're escaping. And they're golden. Okay. I think that book is a bit more special than you thought lately. Quick, after it. It's worth even more now, it's a flying book. <laughs> okay. Let's see, stand controls, A to jump. X doesn't do anything at the moment. Neither does Y. And B... <laughs> B uh, does that. Alright. Uh, let's set ourselves a look around then. Let's see. Uh, no air stomp or something like that. Most likely we're going to be unlocking abilities as we go, and hello there. And this already looks better than the recent Banjo Kasumi game, it was. Uh, you're going robotic again. Uh, this looks at least yeah, better I, I than I can Banjo hear you, but it's not. <laughs> the effect isn't going. Uh, isn't lessening. Okay, now it's green. Now it's green. Uh, as I was saying, it looks better than Banjo Kazooie for that one with the disaster. Mm. Uh, you mean not you want? Yeah, that one this was disaster for that one. Many people did not like. From what I recall, the graphics were actually pretty good, so maybe a bit too good in some places. But yeah, that, well, that one was yeah, that one's been out for quite a while now, at least over ten years, I think. Yeah. The people did not like it, but they did it way too far from the originals. Yeah. All right, pals. Lovely to see you. Hi there. I'm Yuka, and this is my buddy Lely. Do we know you? Of course, it's me, Trouser, <laughs> the honest and dexterous salesman. <laughs> Trouser. <laughs> I remember, you're the crook who sold us that dodgy flat screen. Nope, not me. You're surely mistaken, friend. Hey, Trouser, did you happen to see a magical flying book go through here? The five quills I did. They're in demand now this book business has picked off. Okay, word has spread really fast. Perhaps you can find enough in those treasure chests lying around? 
I already tried lockpicking uh, those while Yuka was asleep. No chance. You little scamp. Ah, to unlock them, you'll need one of my trademark special moves. By using X, our green friend here can perform the tail whirl attack. Tail twirl attack. It's smashing. So X to attack. Got it. Excellent. Now go whack those chests and treasure chests and bring me my pipe wheels. <laughs> okay. I'm a quill, one of 200 on each world. Collect us to purchase new moves. Alright. Uh, yeah, in the original Banjo Kazooie, you also had to. Well, you didn't have to purchase new moves, but you. You had to learn. A, you, you could learn a few new moves in each world, I believe. Uh, <clears throat> it helps, of course, with recalling this because <laughs> the, the runaway guys are currently doing a let's play of uh, Banjo Kazooie as well. Okay, that's too steep for us to go up on. Hmm, mm. I'm Tasty Butterfly Energy. Be nice and collect me to refill your power bar. Okay. Oh, and apparently somebody I know has gone online with something. Uh, we can raid them after this. For now, let's find those chests. Here's another. Okay. And that makes five. Ah, uh, yes, that seems to be enough to jog my memory. Come back here. Hmm. Uh, I just hope that the uh, the noises they make as they talk don't get too annoying. Uh, that me speaking over it, well, the same. Go on then, Lips uh, Lispy. Spill the beans. Where's our book? Your book headed toward the business beyond this gate. Strange things going on in there since the takeover by Hivery Towers Corp. I'm headed there myself to sell some moves. Allow me to raise the gate. Really? A snake wearing pants called Trouser? <laughs> Come on, Yuka, let's get that book back before Trouser realized we didn't give him those quills we found. <laughs> Uh, rip off the rip off. Okay. To get across this nice gap, we'll need to use A to jump. Yeah. Uh, I that's do too remember steep. this when I watched this game uh, from a YouTuber. And again, poor double jump. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Press that YouTuber watched had a. Uh, um, well, not early access, but something similar, like an early demo. Let's see. Yes, swimming. Yeah, yeah, and A to rise and extra left trigger to descend. Okay, <laughs> we've all read the manual. No, we haven't. <laughs> What's the air meter, though? We don't want to drown. <laughs> okay. It seems all competent so far. What are those blue things up there? They look even shiftier than Trouser. Maybe they're lost? It looks like they're wanting some sort of one C. I doubt it. If I were us, and I'm 50% of us, I'd attack them with X. <laughs> Unlike those soft shooters, our health bar won't auto-refill. Poking fun at recharging health bars. Alright, but if they do attack us, I can always eat a nearby butterfly by pressing B to regain some health. Okay. So that's what uh, that is for. <laughs> it just looks so stupid and silly. Oops. Okay, that <laughs> it gets a lot more reach if it has something to target. And yeah, why are these things wearing onesies? <laughs> uh, a little bit weird. Um, why are the butterflies happy about being eaten? Uh, 
Let's not question it too much. <laughs> no trespassing. This is private property. Hello. We're searching for our missing book. It looked like it went this way. Your book belongs to us now. Uh, as will most of the world's supply before long. Mwaha. That's a weird business plan. Are you opening a book mobile? Actually, it's just one book in particular we're interested in. Now, scram before I call security. Hmm. Something not right about this place lately. We should investigate. Uh, you mean the toxic, uh, lit <laughs> literate, yeah, the literally toxic, uh, Sludge. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I guess you're noticing that now. What the heck? Oop. Wait. Literal <laughs> toxic waste? <laughs> yeah, and a literary in, uh, yeah, not literal. <laughs> uh, it's kind of painful. I read towers. Oop. Oh, there he is again. Hello, friends. Over here. How did you get in front of us? And you have a spotlight now. Love you to see again, pals. I see you've got up to speed with your basic moves. Yuka gave himself a short tutorial on the way in. Smashing. Time to put your skills to work. I've spotted a piece of your book. And where is it then? It, of course, it's right on top of there. And of course, it has a face. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and collect it and find out what's going on? I'd go myself, but I've got an important call coming up. With the World 1 boss. He's after one of my super moves. Yeah, right. Okay. Okay, it's just showing us which way to go. Okay, this looks too different from the one I watched uh, from Wonderbot. So much as to wonder if the one he played, the uh, people dislike it so much they had to remake it or something. Hmm. I believe there's only two games in this franchise, and it's this one and a different one. Oh. Um, I thought I had more. I think that it's... Okay, one of them rises, the other falls. Hmm. Um, could have been a, a... Maybe you saw one of the console versions or something? I think it was a console version, yeah. It had basically the same premise. Just... Oh, they're quite different from this. Achievement turning a page, turning a pagey. <laughs> Hello there. Who might you be? I'm a pagey. I live inside the all-powerful One Book. One Book? How much is one of those worth? One book is incredibly powerful, and it's been stolen by the evil Capital B. If Capital B unlocks the power within, this crooked company will have the power to rewrite the universe. Luckily, us pages have fled the one book and gone into hiding. Without pages, the one book is just an empty shell. Okay, so that's that's a better explanation as to what's with all the jiggies in Banjo Kazooie's us, because I'm pretty sure jiggies just are. Yeah, and I think I am right. They have they redesigned the game. Okay. Uh, if you use we will transport to another world and search for more of my friends. I missed the first line there. Uh, don't worry, we'll help you, Paige. Come on, Lily. Let's find one of those grand tomes. 
Let's search for more pages. Oh dear. Hey, pals, I believe I can assist you on your quest. Why don't you come and see me for the details? Hearing them is getting rather annoying. Uh, let's see, is there something to turn that off? Let's see. There we go. We have short speech. Let's, let's see what that does, but let's also turn it back down a bit. This way. So you two chaps need to explore those grand tomes, and I'm looking to expand my business to new locations. How about we make a deal? Okay, this is a lot better. For every grand tome you unlock, I'll help you. Uh, I'll help your quest with a new move. Be of charge. Yeah, this is better. That sounds like a good deal, Trouser. We're in. Super. Your first complimentary move is one of my trademark abilities. If you hold down the right trigger, you'll get the grip you need to roll up slippery ramps. Okay. There's one note in these small print pals. The longer you use this move, the more you'll drain your power bar. So roll wisely. Instead of eating butterflies, you can collect them to refill your power bar. Why don't you try your new pa trouser patented maneuver on that nearby slippery ramp? Okay. So we have a health bar and we have a power bar. Oh, and there's something glittery locked up there. And that's one of the Grand Tomes. Alright. Uh, let's see. Yep, power bar. <laughs> You're a bat, you don't need to... <laughs> you don't need to do that, you can just fly along. And then again, I get the feeling Laylee is a bit lazy. Look, Laylee, a pagey and a cagey. Amazy. Oh dear. Help! Catapult will be his Corporate minions lock me in this metal prison. These pamphlets sure are pushy. Come on then, tell us where the key is. There is no key. Cages are unlocked by solving nearby puzzles. But you've not yet learned the correct move to help me. Okay, Pagey, we'll come back for you later. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing it's something to do with these? Okay. Uh, then up here. Hey, you made it to the first Grand Tome. Hmm. Grand Tomes are magical gateways to new worlds. The ivory Tower seems to have captured many. But only us pages can unlock them for you. Stand on the switch, and if you have collected enough pages, we can unlock it for you. Yeah, yeah, then we go inside and rescue more of you, right? That's right. Once inside, don't forget to find Trouser. It sounds like those moves he sells will help you on your adventure. I'm going to look if I can speed this up a bit. Or speed up the text. Um, sounds... No. Uh, display. Uh, okay, doesn't look like this, but I, I can just press A to, sk to skip and finish it up. It will cost one page to unlock this world. Do you want to unlock Tribal Stack Tropics? Yes. The graphics are pretty good, I'd say. I've... Better than a lot of games that we've tried. <laughs> we 
return here later and I'll reveal more about the Grand Tomes. Alright, we still have seven minutes, so let's yeah, hop in. Uh, okay, just a... Uh, ow. <laughs> Test some moves and abilities will drain your power bar. When these tonics can be unlocked and equipped. Okay. And now the collected thoning begins. And okay, it looks like Laylee is panting for some reason, even though uh, I believe she. I uh, don't think we had any confirmation about that, but I th I'm going off memory with that. Uh, even though she hasn't been doing any work. It looks excited, though. Also possible. Yeah, I think they designed the game for the other game, tried somewhat different. But it was a bit more streamlined, uh, jumping and all that. It is a bit more free, a bit free roaming, though. Hmm. Yeah, I so remember. They... Yeah. Hmm? Go ahead. Go on. Uh, I remember the other game, which I did hear got a lot of. Oh, hello got a lot of praise for being a lot more streamlined uh, but it definitely was played dip I think that was more a 2d game than a 3d with this one yeah they again, tried, I could uh, just be misremembering they tried something similar but maybe too streamlined with a hub world But it might be a test demo they showed off to see how people uh, if people liked it or not, to see if they should redesign it or not, but they didn't keep much of it, so redesign a little bit on how you play it though. Curse right as we are, this book with me. Uh free of five and a treasure will trade. Okay. <laughs> Ghost Riders. Uh, capturing one ghoul, impressive indeed. But the free is all new tactics you'll need. These are going to rhyme all the time, aren't they? Beaver. All right. Let's go looking around and see what we can find. Uh, uh, gosh, I seem to have gotten myself into a pot of bother. Uh, all right, no need for name calling. <laughs> Come on. There's literally everything alive here. Okay, another quill. And hello. She's looking a bit malnourished. Cripes, thank goodness you're here. I've been kidnapped by these things. And they're going to cook me. I, you look like you've already been cooked. Overcooked. Boom soup! If they're hungry, they'll need a character a bit more flashed out than you, love. Uh oh. Gosh, it seems you just can't be a world-class explorer these days. What are being cooked and eaten? Help me escape, and I'll reward you with Nepeji. But be quick. My captors will be back any minute with their condiments. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, miss. We'll get you out of there. Fruit, step away from Pot's strange dinosaur. <laughs> yep. Okay, this big <laughs> little gremlin. Gremlins. Uh, one, and the two, and the three, four. Uh, I, <laughs> I think that was a war crime. We attacked one that surrendered. Uh, lizard and bat go good with skeleton soup. Had much body. Uh, you get a bunch of them. Oop. Was he going for the butterfly? Looks like dinner's cancelled. Oh, thank you, kind lizards. You have my eternal gratitude. This brooch took a real beating, but I have a feeling they'll be back. 
Can you feel it in your bones? Lately. Oh dear. Please take your reward. You've earned it, or you earned it. Okay. Uh, can't we help you off of that? See that entrance back there? Yeah. Uh, oh, that way, past the gate that looks like it needs some serious dental work. Come back when you've expanded the tropics. Uh, for a new exp for it. Come back when you've expanded the tropics for a new expedition. Okay. Let's but might as well go take a look there. Uh, whatever there is. Uh, hmm. How long do we have remaining? Oh, uh, well, <laughs> a little dead end. Uh, just under two minutes. So, call it here then? Yeah, for... Mm. Yeah, we'll show what else to see here under two minutes. Yeah. The uh, old, old time. Uh, I am liking what I'm seeing here. So, let's save and quit. And let's have a look. Start up a browser so we can raid someone. Because I really need to keep remembering, uh, reminding myself to do that. Uh, yeah. In the meantime, uh, World of Goo. Um, probably on the weekends. We'll see how far we can go. And if we get stuck, uh, we might have to give up on it. Or uh, yeah, use, a, you know, use videos and such to see how other people have solved things. It's likely not easy to begin with. <clears throat> And yeah, XCOM Enemy Unknown. Uh, I definitely want to. Uh, I definitely want to stream that. I also want to stream the other two games in this in the uh, modern era you know, series of it. Uh, I, yeah, I never, I've seen a well. bit or two of XCOM Two, but I've I've managed to avoid spoilers for it so far, which is also why I'm not I'm not touching Chimera Squad because yeah, that would likely give you know, spoilers as well. Yeah, that one has the most story. And still refocused, even. Yeah. Uh, Yakuza Zero. I'm. Yeah, we didn't get to see too much in the time that we had. I've heard it is a good game, but uh, yeah, you've already said that you do not really like games like that. So yeah, yeah. I can I can give an exception for Yakuza. No. For at least it's a bit more. It's a bit more story related, so it's not uh, it's not like um, Saint Rube and GTA in that matter. For it's not like you criminal for criminal sake. Like there's something going on in your case, at least. Yeah, and let's see how long to beat. Says that its main story should take about thirty one hours, which is under the uh, forty hours limit that we set up earlier. So, yeah, we can put that on the eventual list as well. Yeah. Uh, all right. And ukulele, uh, it could just be because I never really played those old rare classics like Bench Kazooie and such. Uh, but from what I saw, it looks pretty good. Uh, probably going to get punned to death by, uh, by Laylee. So probably going to get right along with her. Yeah, do. It looks show me, but I don't know. There's something about it. It might just be I never had really good connection to these kind of games to begin with. Like even as a kid, as a kid, I disliked these kinds of games. Uh, might as well do a look. Oh right, right. The other game was called Ukulele and the Impossible Lair, and this one is rated at about 15 hours to get through the story. All right, not too long then. Okay. And um, let's see. Anyone else on for a look? Uh, no. Okay, so yeah, we've uh, got uh, a good amount that uh, we'll be so, going for. Yeah. Uh, we've uh, got uh, uh, a good amount uh, that we'll let's be going mute for. That. Uh, we've got, uh, okay, that's great. <laughs> okay, I thought I had this muted here because of course I need to get into my own chat to be able to, well, 
raid somebody or at least raid and get go along with it. So let's see. Slash raid. Uh, we have two people we could raid. If uh, so, I'll let you choose, uh, Drakir. We have Cyber Delish, who is playing uh, Cyber Delish, uh, who is playing Dungeon Encounters, and there's Spark Zero, who's playing Dead by Daylight. Uh, who shall we raid? I've never heard of either, so I guess the first one is it. Okay. And there we go. Started that up. And in the meantime, uh, is it starting? Oh, it didn't. Um, oh, if it's cider, not cyber. <laughs> okay. Slash raid cider. This. Uh, there were another VTuber. Uh, let me get the spelling correct this time. Probably could have just copy pasted it. There we go. Uh, yeah. For anyone who wants to head along with that. Uh, oh, that's, that's really starting. Yeah, it's, it's starting quick. Uh, thank you, anyone who's watching now or later. And, and thank you, especially, of course, yeah, Drakir. You're most welcome, my friend. And uh, yeah. Uh, Tuesday, we'll be returning to Dark Souls Genesis. And we'll see how. Uh, We'll see how quickly we finish up with that. I don't, well, we still have seven chapters to go, so I'm thinking three more streams of that. If you're lucky. And after that, I have a schedule worked out for, yeah, what to do after. So, but uh, yeah, <laughs> you'll have to see that when we get to that. So for now, uh, thanks again for watching and until next time, have a nice day and until then. Be safe, folks.